Hi guys, how are you doing? How are all the TCW fans out there? Are you excited as I am to see all the new stencils? We have been working on this collection, so we're really excited to see it, and I'm excited to share it with you. My name is Cheryl Baglioli, and I am the TCW, the Crafters Workshop Design Team Education Coordinator. So I'm going to just get started here. So make sure that you leave us some love, give us some hearts, and let us know in the comments that you're watching and where you're watching from and we will do a giveaway from this live video. So I'm gonna switch cameras so that you guys can see all of our new stencils. So here we go. We have a whole new collection. This first one is by Rebecca Meyer Designs and this one is TCW801 and it is called Skylight. All, most of our stencils come in 12 by 12 and 6 by 6. Hello, Desiree. How are you? Hello from New York. Our warehouse is in New York. So good. So this one's by Rebecca. And again, this one is Skylight TCW801. Hey, Carissa. How are you? So here's another one. This is another one by Rebecca Meyer Designs. And this one is TCW802, and it's called Prismatic. Don't you love this one? It, I just love her mandalas. She's known for her mandalas. They're just gorgeous. So, yes, Carissa's from Colorado. How's the weather out in Colorado? <laughs> I, I love all, I, you know, I love everybody's. I can't pick a favorite yet. So this one here is 803, TCW803, and this one is Mesh Blocks. Again, this one's by Rebecca Meyer Designs. Now make sure that as you're going through here, we take note of those that you are just excited about and make sure you contact your stores and let them know that you want those stencils in so that they can get them ordered. We're gonna be shipping these August 1st. So there we go. Then we have TCW. 805. This one is Newport Tiles. This one would make a gorgeous background. I love the little distressed look on all the tiles. So, and what have we got here? Uh, Desiree, you're asking me really. I'm, I'm missing really <laughs> to which question. How about typing in which, which, the question to what, and I will try to answer you. It's been hot down in Florida too. I'm down in Florida. Our heat index yesterday was 115 and I know everybody's getting it, but good grief. So, hey Joanne, hey Lisa, hey Linda. We've got Boston, UK. I didn't know there was Boston, UK. We have California in the house and Saskatchewan. Lovely, yay. All right, so this one here is the next one. This one's called Spanish Tiles. Again, this is by Rebecca Meyer Design. And this one's 806, TCW 806. And again, these all come in the 12 by 12 and the six by six. I should probably kind of switch sides with these at the same time. So there we go. Then we have this one by Rebecca. This one is called Script Dots, TCW806. Now let me show you a little tip. I get a lot of people that send us questions asking us, how can I find the number to the stencil that I'm using, the Crafters Workshop stencil? If you'll pay attention very carefully and very lightly, it is etched into the bottom of your stencils. So let's see, if you see here, you see that we have the Crafters Workshop, you can barely see it. I'm trying to get it so that, see if I can put this up, if that'll help. Not much. But in the bottom corner here is, let me see if I can get this to come in here, da -da -da -da, is the number, there you go, uh, TCW806. Yes, yes, I'm sorry. Desiree, our, our office is in New York, it sure is. So TCW806, and this one is Spanish Tile by Rebecca Meyer Design. 
it is too hot Krista I totally agree I'm so I hate the hot weather I do all right so Rebecca's got another one Rebecca came out with a really great collection this year we're excited hey Jennifer how are you so this one is this one is 807 this one is called script dots so you can see back in the back there's like this little script writing and then the dots almost look like a layer overneath of it so if you can see that little bit of a script that's in the back of the circles so again, this one is 807, TCW 807, and this one is Script Dots by Rebecca Meyer Design. So we have one more by Rebecca, and this is her leaf collection, TCW 808, and this is her leaf collection. So I'm going to open this up so you can see that she's got one, two, three, four, five, six different leaves. I love that she's got these little patterns that are overlaying them. She's got a little script in this one, some circles overlapping like little coffee stains, and then this one's more of a floral design. So I really do, I can't wait to play with these. And I've had these for a few days and I have to tell you how hard it was because I wanted to play with them, but I wanted to keep them clean so that you guys can see them. It was killing me but I'm really excited about using them. So the next set that we have up is Art by Marlene. Art, yes, Carissa, the dots, it is a must, I'm glad. So make sure again, you contact your stores and tell them to place their order. We are shipping August 1st. Get those orders in now so that you can get your hands on these stencils. So this one is Art by Marlene and this one's TCW 809 and this is Ocean Window. And most of the time, even these teeny tiny ones, even though it doesn't have a corner, if you'll look, I know this is not going to show up on this camera here, but maybe it is there. I can't get it to hit just right. Too many reflections here. But it's on this little edge here where it says TCW 809. Then you can go to our website and look it up if you want the name of it as well. But that'll tell you how to order it. So... The next one that we have by Marlene is Blooming Garden. So let me open it up so you can see the whole thing. Hey, Jean, how are ya? I know, all of Marlene's, hers are whimsical, um, very colorful, her, her work is always very colorful, so her stencils play really well into that. So this one is TCW810, and it is called Blooming Garden. And it is. It just looks, you have all these little flowers in here that are just blooming. So that one's going to be a lot of fun. This one would be really fun to um, watercolor and put some different colors in there and doodle in it. I cannot wait. So, yeah, they're just so much fun. We have another floral one by Art by Marlene. And this one is TCW 811. It's called Floral Statement. And I would say this definitely makes a statement. And the number on this one is right in the center. So that one, you might be able to see. You can see some of it kind of, there you go. TCW 811. Isn't it right up your alley? I know I can see you coloring these, Krista, with your Copics or your markers. I can see that. So. Um, TCW 811 floral statement designed by Art by Marlene. This one here is the last one by Marlene and this one is Coronet wreath. So she's got this great little wreath that she's designed. Comes in 12 by 12 and 6 by 6. Hey Linda. Yes, Rebecca's are always beautiful. I showed Rebecca's at the beginning so if you missed it Make sure that you go back and watch the replay so that you can see all of Rebecca's stencils that I showed at the very beginning. So this next collection is by Gabrielle Polacco and she has some fun ones as well. Let's see, I'm out of sync here. All right, so this one is called Blueprint. So this one's TCW813 and it does it looks like a, an old blueprint architectural blueprint so this one would be really great on a mixed media piece with a little bit of our black gesso so that would be really cool to be able to use that and put it on a background i can't wait to play with that one so we're going to move that one and 
then the next one by Gabrielle, I've already seen sneak peeks of this one. We've been showing this one on our website. Um, hey, Anna, how are you? And Wendy, how are you guys doing? Where are you guys from? Don't forget to tell me where you're from too, so that we know. So this one, um, this one is by Gabrielle, and this one is called Mystical Tree. So this one would be gorgeous anywhere, but I'm already picturing how I could use this in an art journal, do some art journal, um, use it on a canvas, and then be able to put names and stuff around it. So this one is 814, TCW 814 Mystical Tree. And then we have Magnolia Blossoms. So this one is TCW 815. And this one is Magnolia Blossoms. Again, this one's by Gabrielle Polacco. So this one is, I, I love the open work that's in here. This one's really pretty. I, want, I can't wait to hear which ones you guys think is your favorite ones out of here. Oh, hey, Wendy from Ohio. Ohio. I know there's a song, but I'm not going to sing. I'm not going to mess that up for you. So this one here, isn't this beautiful? This one is called Birds and Butterflies because we have a bird and we have some butterflies here. And this one is by Gabrielle again. This one is TCW 816 and it is called Birds and Butterflies. So those are our ones that are by Gabrielle. So Laura says, oh, so cool, but then my nickname is Tree. Oh, see, so you're going to really want the one. Oh, I see that, Laura Tree. You're going to want that one of the mystical tree, no doubt about it. So I just, this one is so pretty. I love it. How fun is this one? Save the drama for your llama. Anybody knows me? I don't want any drama, please. So this one is by Carmen Medlin. Carmen Medlin is a really great illustrator. So she has this little stencil and uh, I mean, we just all need a llama, right? So I'm really excited to see how everybody's gonna use this one in their projects. So if this one's a little too big to use, here's a little six by six, same thing. You'll be able to use this in any of your projects. So when you do use our stencils, in any of your projects and you share them on social media, make sure to tag us. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, and use the hashtag TCW stencil love, all one word, and that way we can find it and we can see it and then we can turn around and share it as well. So save the drama. I love it. It's hilarious. And we have another little critter here. I believe in unicorns. Everybody loves their unicorns. So this one again is, isn't it cute? I know, right? Um, I Believe in Unicorns by Carmen Medlin. And this one is TCW 818. I don't think I gave the number for the llama. It was TCW 817. So this one is TCW 818, Believe in Unicorns. They're all just so adorable. Now we have, can you, we're sitting here struggling about how hot it is, but look, fall's coming around the corner. I went the other day and I couldn't believe that not only is fall decor out in our stores, they're already putting up Christmas decorations for you to buy. I just, can we just get through one holiday at a time? Oh, Krista, you need the unicorn. I think you do. I think you do. So this one again is by Carmen and this one is Harvest Pumpkins. So I cannot wait to use this one. This one's gonna be really pretty. And I'm gonna use this one maybe with some different colors of our modeling paste. We have a variety of different modeling paste. I will show you some of those in just a minute. So this one is TCW 819 Harvest Pumpkins by Carmen. And as soon as harvest time is over, it's already time for snow. So this one is TCW820, and this one is Mr. Snowman. I love this little bird. He's so cute sitting there. So that one you have there. So there you go, Mr. Snowman. And after the snowman, we have TCW821, Prayer for, 
prayerful angel. Isn't she beautiful? I know people who are going to be using this one. So let me show you both sizes. Isn't it really pretty? I love it. I love it. For those of you just logging in, make sure that you tell me where you're from so we can do a giveaway and share this broadcast with your friends so that they can see all the new goodies that we have also. This one is TCW822. Again, this one's by Carmen Medlin. And this one is Rose Bow, oh, sorry, Jasmine Spray. So this one is Jasmine Spray. Isn't that really pretty? They're all so pretty. Anna, you love that one. I'm thinking you love the prayerful one, right? You love snowman, yay. So there we go. And then here's our rose bouquet. Has all the beautiful roses on it. This one is TCW823 rose bouquet. This one is by Carmen Medlin again. So this is Carmen Medlin art and that one is just going to be so very beautiful. Use some of our modeling paste, put the modeling paste through the stencil, and then add the colors to it so that you've got the texture and dimension. That one is going to be really pretty. Hey, Jean, you're from Michigan. Yes, Laura, I'm really glad that we have two sizes too, because if you, sometimes when you're working on a project, if you can use them together and use bits and pieces of them, it helps give a cohesive look for them if you have repeat patterns a lot of times. Hey, Dana, you're from Portland and Jacksonville Clay County Sheriff's Office. Debbie, hey, Debbie, I'm in Florida. I'm a little further south, though. I'm about four hours south of you. I'm on the East Coast, Treasure Coast. So, um... That's me personally. Crafters Workshop is in New York. So yeah, this one's really pretty. So the Rose Bouquet, I can't wait to play with that one. And then the last one we have by Carmen Medlin, but not the last stencil, so don't go anywhere. This one is Growing Wild. This one is TCW824. And this one is called Growing Wild. And so it just looks like some little wildflowers bursting all out of everywhere. Again, love them. They're beautiful. Gilbert, Arizona. Yeah, it's hot. I, I feel you, honey. It's hot here too. I'm, I'm down. I'm personally down in Florida, and our heat index. I was telling them earlier was 115 yesterday. So, hey, Jean, and uh, let me see. Well, I'm sorry if I smell, if I say this wrong. Snea, Snea. Hopefully, I'm saying that right. All right. So those are our standard collections that come in 12 by 12 and 6 by 6. However, we have some brand new stencils, brand new sizes, and I want to show them to you. So let me give a little background here. Ta-da! You guys have seen all of the beautiful signs that people have been placing in different areas. Uh, the rustic decor. So this is part of our collection, brand new collection. Bonjour, Marie, Christine, how are you? I'm so glad to see you guys. Some of you are part of our brand new design team. We're excited to share. So make sure that you visit our blog, thecraftersworkshop.com slash blog to see all the projects that our design teams are always showing to inspire you. So the, our current team, they're wrapping up their term. I'm so sad to see them go, but we're excited that we have a brand new team that is starting August 1st. So back to our brand new stencils. These are, oh good, I got that right. Yeah, <laughs> good. I never know how to pronounce things sometimes. So this one is, these are 16 and a half by six. And these are gonna be so much fun to be able to put on a plank of wood or the palette art or some tin, be able to decorate your home. You can even put it on the wall, add some, add some paint or modeling paste or something like that to any projects at all. So I'm, I really just cannot wait to see all the ways that I wanna see everybody's using them. Hey, Lori, I know, aren't these really, really awesome? Hey, Carrie from Germany, thanks for joining us. So this one here is 2168, so TCW2168, and it is called, I think I got the wrong one. Um, nope, this one is, 
for me. This one is not that one. This one is T T C W two one seven zero, and it is laundry. So my stencils kind of looks like they got mixed up here. Let me put them back in order, so I don't tell you the wrong thing. All right, so that one is laundry. Again, these are sixteen and a half by six. So you're going to be able to do some really fun things with this one. So here's a new one. This one is Farmhouse. Again, these are part of our newest collection. And these are our DIY, TCW DIY Rustic Sign Stencils. So this one is TCW2168 and it is called Farmhouse, obviously. So <laughs> there you go. And then... We have TCW2169, and this one is called Welcome. Again, I just want to reiterate, when you guys want to know what the numbers are, when you have these at home and you're like, oh, I can't remember, and you have a question about it, you can find the little numbers are etched in the bottom of, this, in the, bottom of the stencils. So this one's TCW2169, and it's called Welcome. These are really cool, aren't they? Hey, Anna. Oh, Anna, you're from UK, Doncaster. Hopefully I'm saying that correct. I never know. All right, so bakery. This one is 2171. TCW 2171, and this one is called bakery. Aren't, I know, the sign stencils. And here we have another one, 2172, TCW 2172, again, patisserie. So I'm sure that Marie Christine could say this so much better than I can. <laughs> so there you go. And this one's gonna be one of my favorites cause I love my coffee. TCW 2173, this one is called Coffee Bar. So I want to play with this one. I'm, I'm imagining getting a um, tray and making a coffee bar tray and putting this one on there. So TCW2173 coffee bar. Oh, good. I said that right. <laughs> Yay. Us. All right. So here is market. This one, these would be really great on baskets or a tote bag. Use some fabric paint and paint this on a tote bag that you use for the market. This one is 2174 and it is called Market. Yes, Laura, these are going to be, I just, I am so excited. I just cannot wait to see what you guys do with them. I, these are perfect sizes for you to put on the wall. These are perfect sizes for anything. You're going to be able to use these, use pe you don't even have to use the whole thing. Maybe you just want a monogram M in your scrapbook page and you're gonna be able to use just a piece of it as well. So really look at your stencils and think about how you can use them without using the whole thing all the time. Sometimes you can just use bits and pieces of it. Yes, Carrie says, I have no idea what I'd use half of these for, but I know I need them already. Yes, you do, you do need them. So make sure that you tell your stores to get their order in. I do, you saw the coffee one, Carissa. Coffee bar, yep. And then I love this one. I already have an idea for this one. So this one is Choose Happy. And it is TCW2175, Choose Happy. Again, you can just use a little word. You can, you know, you don't have to use the whole thing. But I went yesterday, and I'll even show you. I haven't even done this yet. I'm reaching here, I'm hopefully I don't knock anything over. So I went yesterday looking for some signs. So here's just a little sign that I was able to find. So I wanna give this one some color, put a little background on it, and then in different colors, I wanna be able to layer this one. So I'll be able to use choose here and happy here, and then put this one on my wall so that I can just remind myself every day here in my studio to choose happy. So that is something we all need. Oh, good, <laughs> Marie. Thank you very much for that. I need, I need to work on that. Patisserie. So choose happy. And I think I told you, but in case I didn't, TCW2175. Choose happy. 
so aren't these so much fun all right 2176 family tcw 2176 this one is family i have a wall in my living room that has family photos on it so i think that this would be really pretty put on the wall and then use some black paint or something that coordinates with my decor and be able to put this one on my wall so i really do like this one tcw 2176 family next we have TCW2177, and this one is called Gather. I love the script on this one. So I wanna see what ideas you have to use these. They're gonna be beautiful. So TCW2177, Gather. And then Give Thanks. So we have so much to give thanks for. This one is TCW2178, and it is called Give Thanks. Obviously, these ones are easy to remember the names because it's pretty much on there. <laughs> so, let it snow. How could we use this one? I think some of our light and fluffy modeling paste through here, or how about our shimmery goodness? Take some of our shimmery goodness paste and apply this through the let it snow that's going to be so pretty yeah the family font the, I, I love that all of these have different fonts on them too so they're not all the same so this one you know is a little bit more rough so this one will be great with some modeling paste that'll look like snow so this one is let it snow tcw2179 we have a couple more tcw2180 this one's called Merry Christmas. It's gonna be Christmas before you know it. I'm already frustrated looking at all those signs that everybody's posting up everywhere telling us how many days until Christmas. Come on, let's get through summer. Let's get this here first. So this one is TCW2181, Joy to the World. I just love the big joy and the little to the world. That one is really pretty. So this one can be used in a whole lot of places. So you'll be able to use this one in a scrapbook page, put joy towards the top and then to the world towards the bottom, use it in the art journaling, use it in anything that you're gonna use for home decor. How about some holiday pillows to decorate? So, oh good, yes. And you never know what's coming next, Marie Christine. So we'll have things to go. All right, Lori, thanks. I know I totally understand you need to go, but thanks for jumping in and seeing us. And uh, you can go back and watch the replay to catch what else you miss. So good luck with your eye exam. Here is TCW2182, and this one is Peace on Earth. Again, I love the different fonts. So you got these two and then the little font. So this one's really, really pretty. Good, good. And then our last stencil, but don't go. I still have other stuff to show you, is Mary Ann Bright. So this one is TCW813. And this one is called Mary Ann Bright. So aren't these fun? So we have so many different stencils. We have all of the new ones that I showed at the beginning. If you missed them, you can see the 12 by 12s and the six by sixes that we have coming out. And then these are our new ones. These are our brand new ones. These are called DIY Rustic Sign Stencils. Thank you, Debbie. We love to hear that you think TCW are your favorite stencils. Make sure again, you guys share your work with us. Tag us on any of the social media that you use and use the hashtag TCW Stencil Love. All one word, but TCW Stencil Love. And that way we can find your stuff and then we can go back and share it. So, not only do we have stencils, but many of you have already seen our wonderful mediums that we have. So we have a variety of different mediums and I just kinda wanna go through them again so that you can see what all we have in our entire collection and then i'll show you some new things <laughs> so we have a variety of gessos gessos are great to be able to prime your surfaces to be able to add color or just use them all by themselves and we have five different 
colors of our wonderful TCW gessos. So we have our white gesso, which is a very creamy white opaque. So this one is just super, super creamy. Make sure that you clean your lids so they're easier to open. So give a little stir so you can see just how lovely and creamy our gesso is. And that's one of the things that I really do love about it. We're going to place that right there. So we have our white gesso. We have a black gesso. We have a silver gesso, a clear gesso, and a gold gesso. And that gold, you just want to eat it. So let me open this one up. Isn't that, look at that sheen. Isn't that gorgeous? This one here is one of everybody's favorites, I think. So that one is our gold gesso. Thank you, Jean, we think so too. All right, so we have a variety of gessos as I showed you. So again, we've got white, black, silver, clear, and gold. Oh, you've only used our stencils, so this is if you haven't seen these yet. You will love these. So not only do we have gessos, I don't even think I can get all of these on here at once, but we have modeling paste. You need modeling paste? We have modeling paste. We have, um, let's see, let me put these in some. We have a clear, we have an ultra thick and light and fluffy. And I will show you this in a second. So these are three that you guys would use a whole lot and you could basically use it for anything. So our, our regular modeling paste that most people are used to is this one here. This one is super thick. It's uh, very creamy again, but it's a really thick, this one's brand new, modeling paste. See, I can't even like dump it out. So it's really, really, really thick. So you can get great texture. Um, yes, Debbie, we make gessos and modeling pastes. So we have the nice and thick, and then we have light and fluffy. And this one is literally really light and fluffy. When you pick them up, you can see the difference. But see how that one is, it's like whipped and it's super light. I love using this one because it dries a little bit quicker. I still get great texture. I get great peaks out of it if I want it, but it's also a little bit more flexible. So if you want something that, that is gonna move just a tiny bit and still have texture on it, this one is great to be able to use for that. And all of these take colors really well. You can mix paints with them, and we do have paints too. So make sure you check out our collection of paints that we have, we have a variety of different paints as well. These are heavy body paints. They're super pigmented. Yes, the light and fluffy is one of my favorites too, Snea. So, but then we have clear modeling paste. Now when you add paint to the these two modeling pastes, because they're white and because they are opaque, they will lighten the color a little bit. They'll also make it opaque so that you can't see through it. But we also have clear modeling paste. And when you use clear modeling paste with any of your inks, your paints, anything else like that, then this one will not change the colors. So this one is a lot of fun to use. I think everybody needs some clear modeling paste. So we have those three are just some basic modeling pastes. Then we have white pearl and we have shimmery goodness, but I am not seeing where my shimmery goodness went. That wasn't very well prepared, but we do have a shimmery goodness that's super shimmery and I don't see it. And then we have this one here. Let's see if you can see it. it has a good little sheen to it. So that's the white pearl modeling paste. Then we have colors. We have sterling silver, marcasite silver. We have black. Let's see if I can get all these up here. I want you to be able to see them. And platinum. Light and fluffy is a lot of fun. And then we have, oh, come on, don't roll anywhere. Then we have champagne, antique gold, Grecian gold, and copper penny. 
So all of these colors are also, these are modeling pastes. So they're gonna give you great depth, great texture, all of that. Yes, the white pearl is really lovely. All of these, they have just really super pigmented and are creamy and are really just a pleasure to work with. So we have, again, sterling silver, marcasite, black, platinum, champagne gold, antique gold, and Grecian gold. And you can see the difference in the different golds. So I think you need one of each, right? <laughs> and then the copper penny. Isn't that gorgeous? In the silvers, you have the sterling silver, the marcasite, which is like a black shimmery one, and then the platinum, and then the black. So those are the different modeling pastes that we have. So there you go. And then we have a matte gel medium and a gloss gel medium. So when you're wanting to use a gel medium to do, uh, I know my, we do have shimmery goodness, but I, it's not on my desk. I don't know where it went. So I'm probably using it on a project somewhere and misplaced it. So forgive me for that. But we do have shimmery goodness. We do. Um, I just have misplaced mine for the time being. And I'm sitting here looking at it and not finding it. So we have the matte gel medium and the gloss gel medium. Now, these all come in eight ounce containers. So all the ones that I just showed you came out in eight now. But now we have these little guys that come in little two ounce containers. Now we don't have, not every medium that I just showed you comes in two ounces. These are the only ones that we currently have that are coming in the two ounce sizes. But these are perfect when you need to travel or if you wanna try them first or um, do a little project with them. These are perfect for that. So we have the white mod, we have the white pearl, the white modeling paste and the light and fluffy modeling paste in the two ounce. We have the matte gel medium in the two ounce and the white pearl in the two ounce. We also have it in black. Yes, the gel mediums are just super, super creamy. Lori, we do. Yes, we do have shimmery goodness. I just don't have it on my desk. Champagne gold and antique gold. So you got those three golds, if you wanna try them, in these little two ounce containers. So, and then we have the copper penny the marcasite, the platinum, and the sterling silver. So these all come in the two ounce little containers. And then our brand new ones this year, we just came out with these. We have one that, these are for foil. When you wanna use foil, we've got the hot foil gel. So when you wanna do um, foil transfers and use with a laminator. So you're gonna apply this, you're gonna allow it to dry. It's gonna dry tacky and then you're gonna use your hot foil with it and be able to uh, use foil on your scrapbook pages, fabric, mixed media, anything else like this. Yes, perfect size to take to holiday parties and to try out. So th great suggestions, Anna and Laura. These are just perfect little sizes. Now these two new ones only come in the two ounce for right now. Um, and then the other one is tacky when dry medium. So this one's tacky when dry gel medium. You'll still be able to use this one um, you'll be able to use this with some foils. You'll be able to use it with some gels. Um, this is, would be great to do with ribbon, be able to put it down, let it dry a little bit, and then put your ribbon on it so that it doesn't uh, bleed through. And so there's lots of uses that you can do. Again, you want to find out, make sure that you check out our blog and see what all of our Stu uh, what are our design team are using. So Janine says great size for class kits. It would be, it would be a really great size for a class kit. They'd be able to try it, use it, and then take some home because a little does go a long way. And they are beautifully, just they're full and really super creamy. Um, now when you get these, just disclaimer here, they are not gonna come with labels on the top. I put labels on the top. I still wanna do it to my big ones. Um, my handwriting is not so neat, so I wanna take my little label maker and put them on the top. because so I kinda of keep them stored like this and I'm always trying to find out what it is. So I use little label maker to put on top so that I can just see them in my little basket and be able to tell exactly what I wanna grab. 
Isn't it great? I, I know. It's just so much fun. So those are our brand new ones that are coming in two ounces and our new Tacky One Dry Gel Medium and Hot Foil Gel. So we already have some of our design team has already done some projects with these on our blog. So make sure you check it out. And then you guys have seen our paints, but let me pull some out here again just so that you can see our paints. So we have our different, a ton of different colors and they're just really delicious. So we have the blue jelly bean. I have little clips on them because I hang them next to my to my studio desk on a little um, like a little clothesline thing on my wall so that I can be able to pull them off and use them all the time. So we have blue jelly bean, candy apple red, sponge sugar, iridescent silver, raspberry sorbet, lemon custard, blueberry pie, kale smoothie, orange slice, grape jelly, iridescent gold, and black licorice. So these are heavy body paints and mix very well with all of our little mediums that we have. Oh good, I'm glad you like that idea, Lori, to label the lids, because it does help it. So, you know, I was writing on them with a Sharpie, um, and you can read it, but yeah, I, I like I like everything to be neat, so the labels, yeah, that blue, they're all blueberry pie and blue jelly bean. Which is your favorite color? Let us know, let me know what your favorite color is. So I'm gonna switch cameras again. So again, go back and watch the replay, but I just wanna say bye. All right, so thank you guys so much. We appreciate you took time out of your day to stop and see us. So, oh good, I'm glad you like that. Names are just awesome, I know, right? Um, I, they did a really great job mixing that up. So we just want to say thank you from the Crafters Workshop. Make sure you go back and catch the replay and share this with your friends. And don't forget to share all the wonderful things that you create. Thank you so much for being TCW fans and just keep creating, be happy. So thanks, bye guys.